Okay, so here's another fun beginner tutorial in Blender. Let's say you have an object, and this object is, you know, flat, straight, whatever, but you want to kind of bend it around a round object. You want to warp it, right? Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do this in Blender, but one way I'm going to show you today is to use the lattice deform modifier. So essentially, we grab an object and we just use a built-in feature in Blender to kind of create a lattice around it, and then we can actually manipulate the lattice. You can see here is an example, so I'll show you how to, I do this, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna use an object, and I wanna take this object here, like I've done over here, and I wanna wrap it around this. So I'll kind of, I'll get rid of these guys here, just for now. So I want this to be wrapped around here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this object, and I'm gonna press F3 on the keyboard, and you can type in lattice deform selected. Now, it's already um, an option here because I've already done this, but you just type in lattice like this. There you go. And you should see it pop up. So lattice deform selected. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna see this box pop up here, right? Add lattice deform. And over here, you can actually come and you can increase the segments. And this is gonna give you more control. So if I take the V over here, I can give it two. Um, in this case, it's not really any point giving any sort of W, so I'll just leave that at 2. But you can see now I've given it 10 and I've given it 4 over here. And now what I can do, I can actually, with this ladder selected, I can go into edit mode. And I can now actually, and in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to enable my proportional editing. So I can select the vertex and I can go G and I can actually move this. And you can see it's now warping this object. Okay, But what I'll do instead is I'll go back into object mode and I'll actually grab this lattice with the object. I'll go G and just move it over this sphere. There we go. Then I'm gonna select just the lattice and now I'll go into edit mode. And in this case, I'm gonna change my transform pivot to 3D cursor. I'm gonna go ahead to my 3D cursor over here and just click somewhere over here. And then I will now change it back to my selection. Select these inverts and I'll go G and just roll the middle mouse button and now it'll bend around where I put that 3D cursor. And I'll kind of just rotate it and then I'll move the 3D cursor again. And I'll do that again a little bit more, increasing the fall off a little bit. And now you can see I'm very simply just bending this object over here. And over here I'll grab this. I still got my proportional editing. I'm just gonna go G to move, R to rotate. I'll just move this down a little bit like so. And then I'll change this back to median point. And over here, I'll just kind of grab sort of like these verts and I'll just adjust them like so. Now I have a lot of control over how I want to kind of bend this thing over here, All right? There we go, something like that. I can grab these guys, bring them in. And this is really, really simple to do as well. Very sort of like easy way to control where the points are. Now, obviously, I just need to grab it here in the side and just move it in. There we go, like that. And now it's really just kind of wrapping around here. Now, if there are areas where it's not sitting properly, the cool thing is I can always come here and just grab those bits as well. And then I can just go and move them down a little bit. And I can see over here is a little bit of a gap. So I'll just grab these verts over here. I'll go G, Z, move them down a little bit. Just so I kind of wrap around here nicely. So now, I'll tab back out, I'll just hide this by pressing H. And you can see here, I've now taken this object here and deformed it with the lattice deform to make something like this, which is super, super handy, right? Now go ahead, give this a shot. One thing you do need to keep in mind is that if I were to, for example, take a cube over here and I subdivide it and I'll just kind of flatten it. If I were to go ahead and go F3 and give that a lattice deform, and then I grab that lattice and then come over here and give it some topology. If I come in here, grab that lattice and actually try and deform it, you can see that's not gonna work really well because our cube here has very low topology. So I'd have to come in here and subdivide the cube before I really kind of get a smooth sort of warping here like that. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, beginner tutorial on how to use Blender's lattice to form. I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.